So we recently did a video on Omifa and uh, some people seem to be somehow disappointed with the robot. Some even don't find it to be a robot enough so they call it a mannequin and to some she looks very very scary. I think she might scare them. They might even not be able to sleep at peace when the night comes. Some people find it scary because she doesn't make any gestures when she talks so it doesn't make her to look more lively. I mean whenever she talks or when she talks you can't see her eyes rolling and uh, you don't even see her moving her arms like when we talk mostly we move her, her, our arms and also the movement of the mouth or the lips is very small like it is more like uh, she's just producing the sound from inside but you are unable to see any movement of the jaws and the facial expressions as well you're unable to see the facial expressions on her face so to some people this makes her look a bit to be more scary and again she doesn't walk she's unable to walk but if you look at the, the folks at engineered arts they have made that robot called amika she's the most advanced humanoid robot and we did a video now um we'll, i'll be sure to leave a link so that you can be able to watch it she's so more advanced she can be able to frown she can laugh uh, she can make a lot of facial expressions and uh, also her arms are able to move so you can be able to see i mean you can visualize her she's more lively but again she's unable to walk they are still developing her legs maybe she might be able to walk by the end of this year or next year but as of now she can't walk as well so for the folks at stem focus labs they're saying is they have developed the ai and in the ai they have already built everything in it i mean they have programmed her to be able to work to be able to balance to gain balance when she's standing on the ground and she can be able also to make facial expressions and also gestures whenever she tries to talk but at the moment the thing that is remaining is actualization of all these the mechanism of how they can be able to bring all of this to life that's what they have not yet done i mean the software part is done but when it comes to the hardware part now that's where they have not yet done it and I think in this case they wanted to present her at Gitex 2022 they wanted to present her so that she can be seen and maybe people can also know like look this company or this startup is doing this that's why they did what they did and she was able to be presented at Gitex 2022 but is she a robot or a mannequin i'll say she is a robot if you look at this man this is not a mannequin you can be able to see all the wiring and everything going on with her when she was being made at uh, stem focus labs in nigeria and she's definitely not a mannequin so um at this point they think if you look at how things are going it is obvious that in the near future we're going to be able to work with robots side by side or maybe take some of our jobs and for me i believe that uh, it will be better for us if we can produce our own than to depend on importing them from asia europe or the americas like you how we've been doing with uh, motor vehicles for so long you know and maybe the robot that was shown by unicorn group of companies wasn't that amazing like Amica or the robots being made by companies like X Robotics but I think it is a start and it's better to start with something then you know along the way it becomes easier to figure out to figure out more important steps along the way and in this part I think Nigeria is making us proud on this and please let me know what do you think about this topic in the comment section what do you think about robotics and the future of robotics in africa are we going to develop our own or for now we just have to focus all our efforts on trying to feed our people trying to make sure everything is okay and we wait in the future then is when we'll try to go into the field of robotics or maybe we could have some people working on robotics still and others are trying to work on the food security and other things